Hello guys. So right now we will check what options we have in our content to create new items. So as you know, when we go to the create in the organization account, we have so many different options more than we have with the public account. In the public account, we have only this option, but in the organization account, we have so many options. So we will go through each one of them. So the first option here, you have to create a feature layer. And this one will allow you to create a feature layer using one of the templates that Esri created for you. So for example, if you work in the gas utilities organization and you want to create a feature layer that represent exposed pipe locations, you can use this template. And when you select this template, you will be able to create a feature layer using this template. And what that will do is basically will create a layer for you, a new feature layer for you that you can give it a name, my pipes. And it automatically have tags for the pipes and the gas. We can give it a summary here and save it. And once it's saved, you will see that it will look exactly like any other feature layer that we published before. And when we add this layer to a new map, we will see that we have some fields in our layer that using the template for collecting data for the pipes. So it looks exactly like any other feature layer and you can edit it. But also when you go to the attributes and you open it, you will see that because you chose the gas pipe template, you have some fields here that automatically configured for you to use for this specific purpose. So again, if we go back to the content and you go to create and you select feature layer, this will create a regular feature layer for you, but using one of this template. So instead of you creating a layer and configure the fields for it, you can just choose one of these templates and add it to your content right away. Uh, the second option here is to create a feature layer from an existing layer. So let's say, for example, I have this layer here, the buffers that we created earlier, and I want to create another feature layer using this one. I can just select this one. I say create. I give it the configuration. Same thing we did with the previous one. And when I click done, it will save a copy of my buffer layer as another layer. Uh, the second option we have for the feature layer is to add from a URL. So you can add a feature layer from a URL, same thing as when you click on add item and add from URL, this is exactly the same thing. So when you go to the course data folder, you will see inside other files folder that you have a text file called web layers URLs. And when you open this text file, you will see that you have a URL here that you can take and you can add it to your layer right here. So right now it will look inside this feature service. And when you click next, it will look if there's any feature layers inside this feature service. So let's select this one and say next. And same thing, you can define the extent for your layer and say auto theft. And add a tag here, summary. And what that will do, it will copy this feature layer from ArcGIS server and then create a feature layer for us that we can actually edit. As you remember in the public account, when we added the auto theft layer, we couldn't edit in this layer because we don't own it. But right now we created a copy from this layer and we add it to our content so we can edit it. So right now when you open this layer in a new map, you will see that we have the option to edit this layer. We couldn't do that in ArcGIS public account, but we can do that in ArcGIS enterprise account to copy any layer from any ArcGIS server that owned by anyone and make a copy from it. And we can add it to our map and do edits on this layer, but it won't have the data that exists on this layer. So for example, if I add the same exact layer right here from web and I take the URL right here and I add this layer and I say add layer, you will see that we have the same exact layer, but as a configuration. So this is the one that we added using create item. What happened is it took the configuration for this layer, which means the attributes and created a copy for us so we can add new data. So here, as you see, we have all the fields and all the attributes that exist in this layer. But this one, we added it right away from ArcGIS server so we can use it, but we cannot edit it. And when you open the attribute table, you'll see that you have 17,500 features and we cannot edit this one. So again, the difference between them that if you add a layer from the web that you are not the owner of this layer, you can add it to your map and you can use it, but you cannot edit this layer. 
if you want to use the template for this layer you go to the content and you go to create and then you create a new feature layer using a new feature layer using this URL so you can create a copy of the template of this feature layer of the auto theft. So I hope you understand the difference between create a feature layer using URL and the difference between add item using a URL. The difference between them, when you add it, you add the data and you can use it, but you cannot edit it. When you create a feature layer, you add a new feature layer using the template that this feature layer is using. So you can add data and you can edit the data inside this feature layer. So that's it for how can you create a new feature layer and what is the use for the feature layer and how can you create a template from any existing layer using Esri templates or any template existing online. In the next video, we will see how can we create a tile layer and what is tile layers. So we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.